Oh, bonjour. Welcome to another episode of The Piper's Table. Right now, we are going to break into a new tin. Um, this is a tobacco I've never had before. I don't know a whole lot about it. Um, and I've been thinking about it for like two weeks. It's been on my mind. I'm like, oh, I'm going to sit on it. I'm going to sit on it. Well, I feel like right now is finally the time I want to try it. And um, there's a fun little story about how I got this tobacco. Um, so I've had a couple of friends recently who this is this tobacco has been coming up um, frequently in my little uh, social circle. And um, so that's interesting um, and has made me, you know, even more curious about trying it. But rewind to about oh I don't know about six weeks ago more or less six weeks ago somewhere around there um I had all my jars out of my current um rotation that I got out of my cellar and I had them all spread out over my desk and I had you know a, a jar that I've been aging for like five or six years now of um the 1792 flake and my best friend, his father, um, is a really avid, uh, piper and I've never got a chance to smoke pipes with him. Um, we've never really talked about it or whatever, but I know that he's into it and he's gifted his son a few really nice, um, Danish freestyle pipes. And, um, every time my buddy Derek is like, hanging out with his dad I'm always like oh what are you smoking you know Derek's always smoking some kind of aromatic his dad's always smoking some kind of English or Balkan and I was like okay so he likes Danish pipes and he likes Englishes I was like well probably have similar tastes and um, from what I know about Derek's father is uh, he likes what he likes you know he doesn't it doesn't seem like he wastes his time with having a plethora of different uh, varieties, but more or less focuses on having a surplus of what he knows he enjoys. And so, you know, anyways, I, I'm kind of getting ahead of myself here, but anyways, I snapped a picture of it and I sent it to him and I said, I thought you would appreciate this. And, uh, you know, he said, oh, I've never had the 1792 flake, but I um, do have some tobaccos from um, Gawith. And that was kind of it. You know, that was the end of the exchange. Well, about a week goes by and I get a package in the mail uh, from Boswell. And I'm like, what is this? Like, I didn't order any pipes or anything from Boswell. It's like, but obviously, you know, Boswell, it was something to do with pipes and tobacco. And well, I opened it, and this was in there. Squadron Leader. So, this um, is Dwayne's favorite tobacco, from what I hear. He sent me his two favorite tobaccos, and this is one of them. And uh, he also is a pilot, so he is the Squadron Leader. So, Dwayne, if you ever happen to come across my YouTube... Um, thank you so much for this. I'm really excited about this. I've been sitting on this for a while, just waiting for the moment to smoke it. And it's been in the back of my mind. And I feel like right now is the right moment to do it. So, yeah, tobacco is just such a princely gift. Like, I have a lot of gratitude for that package. I was not expecting it. And I've only heard good things about this tobacco, and knowing what I know about Dwayne, he's a very sophisticated cat, so I know this is going to be good if it's his favorite. But anyways, let's open it up. Yeah, so, Samuel Gowith, Squadron Leader. Um, it is... An evenly balanced composition of Latakias, Orientals, and Virginia Leaf make up this iconic blend. So this is like a, another one of those 
highly renowned quintessential English blends, which is one of the reasons why I'm so excited to try it because I, I just, I love the English blends. Um, and I did, I didn't really do too much research cause that's not the kind of day I'm having, but, um, I did look up and it's dark and bright Virginia's blended and then some Oriental leaf and some Cyprian Latakia. So, um, Let's crack into it and see what it's all about. Uh, it's got the classic insert. I just love the packaging that Gowick does. It's just so classy and stylish. Oh, okay, it's already a ribbon cut. I wasn't sure if I was going to open up and find flakes or what. Mmm, the smell is... Ooh, this has got a lot of brights and orientals in it, I can tell. Mmm, this smells really nice. It almost smells like... It's kind of reminiscent to uh, the Dunhills early morning pipe. But with a little bit more, um, a little bit more of sweetness to it, which I don't know if that's just the types of Virginias or if it's like, uh, you know, the lot of Kia. I don't know. Mm, it smells very good. Look how beautiful that is. You can see those lot of bright orange and gold and yellow colors. You can see that dark Virginia and the dark lot of Kias. That's a very handsome looking flake right there, or cut right there. Very nice looking tobacco. Ooh, and it's sticky. Oh, I got some on my mustache. <laughs> okay, so, fittingly enough, I'm going to smoke it out of my Eric Nording Spigot Virgin. I love this pipe and uh, it's very lightweight for how I mean it's a pretty decent sized pipe it's got a pretty decent bowl I mean I got pretty big hands and that's my pointer finger almost up to the knuckle it's a huge bowl but it's just so light it's one of the lightest pipes I own I'm gonna load some up into this and then We'll see what it's all about. I'm going to pause this really quick. I said I was going to pause it, whatever. You know, let's go through this. It's uh, the texture. It's not quite sticky, but it's uh, it's damp a little bit in a way. Um, it's got a firmness and a density to it that uh, you can tell it's a really high quality tobacco. It's like dried perfectly it's it's dry but it's not it's uh got a, a really nice texture full bowl in there mmm it's a lovely smell it's got that leathery spiciness um, not a whole lot of raisin note um, to me anyways and it's got a it's almost got that incense type quality um, and the tin note. It's got like really nice, uh, yeah, like incense-esque, spicy, kind of floral, herbal thing going on. And um, the Latakia, you can smell it. 
like you can smell it's there, but I, I'm guessing this is definitely not going to be a, a lot bomb. And like I said, it kind of is reminiscent of the early morning pipe blend. So I'm guessing this is probably going to be pretty mild or middle of the road and a lot of orientals in it. It's a really nice smell. But anyways, I'm going to hold this up. Bam. Let's light it up and see what it's all about. I can see how it's uh this might be one that maybe some people would prefer to let sit out for maybe a few minutes before you packing it. It was took a little bit to get it lit. Takes a cherry beautifully after that first initial charring. Wow, I can immediately see why. This is one of Dwayne's favorite tobaccos. This is definitely an all-day smoke. I think this is uh, absolutely going to become one of my uh, stockpiled blends. It's really, really light and crisp and airy kind of fitting right squadron leader having the plane on there a nice light airy earthy english you've got um the classic Virginia toastiness is definitely not a lot bomb. It's got just the most subtle spice, but I wouldn't even say it's even very spicy. I'm getting a little bit of notes of that, like uh, just a classic pure Virginia taste coming through a little bit there. It's interesting. It's got, it's like, it's almost like you're going to get a sweetness like the sweetness is about to start elevating and then it wisps away and there's just this really nice really clean crisp smoky toasty mouth feel I feel like the lot of Kia is almost um, I almost can't even detect it. It's almost like it's just there to really add that nice thickness and texture 
to the smoke. And lend just a little bit of depth, you know, add a little bit more depth there to the overall flavor that's going on. You can get the faintest notes on the very front of your palate, the tip of your tongue of, of just the most subtle Latakia qualities. This is nice. This is a really light, relaxing, enjoyable blend. I would say that uh, it's definitely light. I have a feeling that the nicotine hit on this is probably pretty light as well. Yeah. It's like, um, I want to say that any of the tobaccos in there are competing with one another um the flavor is pretty consistent i know i'm just getting into the bowl but even from the initial spark to now i would say that it just is what it is it's not overly complex but it's not lacking a sophistication either. Which, you know, kind of like the Dunhill early morning. This is less spicy, I think, than the Dunhill early morning pipe. This one's a little bit more mellow. You can, and it does have a little bit of a, just a little bit of that sweet from like those dark uh, matured Virginias. I'm a fan. You know, I've been thinking to myself lately, okay, in reality, am I ever going to be satisfied with trying new pipe backers? Probably not. I definitely have a tad. But I've been thinking to myself, I need to make a definitive list of like 12 or so tobaccos that I just really, really love. And then start getting more volume of those blends. And I think this one right here just might have filled the slot for what I want for a lighter, more mild side of an English. A really, this, I bet this would be just amazing as a first smoke with coffee. And just like a really nice light all day smoke, you know. Mm. Well, like I said, Dwayne, if you ever see this, thank you. This is awesome. I see why it's one of your favorites. It's very nice. So thank you again. And, uh, Thanks, everybody else, for stopping by for a moment. Um, yeah, Squadron Leader. If you've had it, let me know what you think. If you haven't had it and you're a fan of Englishes or if you're um, new to the pipe or you've been smoking a pipe for a while and maybe you want to try a new style and maybe you're thinking about getting into the English styles, like I said, this is, um, I mean, this is a very renowned, like, iconic English blend. Um, Gallith obviously produces only very high quality tobacco blends. So you can't go wrong with anything from them. You just got to find what kind of stuff you like. Um, yeah, I would recommend this. Definitely. I'm going to give this a 10 out of 10 for a mild English category. Wow. Mm, that's a good mix. I'm having a uh, a uh, chamomile and anise tea, which is pretty nice with this.
there you have it. Squadron Leader from Samuel Goweth out of the Nording Spigot Virgin. And I'm going to sit here and really enjoy this and do some taxes. Yeehaw! See you next time.